Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Winkins and if you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if those are the type of videos you enjoy watching, consider hitting that subscribe button. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool rotation effect. Now as you can see right here, I'm going to go ahead and play and here is just the editing breakdown so you can just watch the timeline and you can just watch the actual um, preview window. So as you can see right here, here is the editing breakdown to this really cool rotation effect. Some people may also like to call it like a locked on rotation effect. As you can see right here, let's go ahead and just put my mouse on the helmet right here and let's see where the mouse actually um, ends up. As you can see right there, a little off but it's pretty um, close but there is the editing breakdown. Now this. Um, effect isn't super difficult to create but you do need a plugin and the download link is going to be in the description um, down below and you want to make sure it's in here in the actual um, like in the motions template folder in the actual um, titles folder because this is a title plugin and as you can see right here here is a cinematic rotate effect free so it is free so don't worry about it, it doesn't cost anything but it is a title um, plugin. Now all you want to do is you're going to want to find a place um, to actually like create this effect. Now a couple of tips that I want to go over that definitely helped me when I first wanted to create this effect. The first thing you want to do is probably find an instance where like the subject is moving or maybe the first idea I had was a guy like, like a, a flipping into the end zone for a touchdown. It definitely did kind of work but the only reason it didn't really work is because the subject wasn't um, that centered. So you want to kind of have a video where that person where someone is moving but you also want to make sure that the person is pretty centered so if if for example let's say he Patrick Mahomes was starting here and running to like this point it probably wouldn't look as good so you probably want to so the tips are probably have somebody moving and kind of make sure that the person or the subject is kind of pretty much in the center frame the entire time because it'll look a lot better it'll look a lot more like a locked on rotation effect and no not every clip you'll you will be able to use this effect it's only going to be certain clips so just keep that in mind so you want to do as you can see right here this is how I go to the title plugins and then you want to just stretch out the title onto the entire video or just a portion of the video for example here I just stretched it on to the entire video so we're gonna go ahead and just disable it as you can see right here nothing happens now I'm not going to redo it, but if I took off the keyframing, absolutely nothing would happen. So if I didn't have it keyframed and I just played it, absolutely nothing would happen. So what you want to do is you want to keyframe the rotation. So what you want to do right here is start at the beginning of the clip, so press on the beginning part of the title plugin. Um, sometimes it'll be at the beginning of the clip sometimes it'll be at the end you want to head over here to rotation as you can see right here here is a yellow keyframe so you want to just keyframe the rotation um, at the beginning and then go to the end and then you want to keyframe it again and type in 360 or you can type in negative 300 and 60. So all you're doing in this title plugin is you're basically just creating a rotation. So let's go ahead as you can see right here. Here is the rotation. I'll keep my mouse right here. I'm going to go ahead and just play it right here and you will see the rotation as you can see right here right there the rotation is keyframed. So that's literally what you're just doing. You're literally just keyframing the rotation. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this over here and kind of basically show you how this effect works. Now as you can see right here, let's go ahead and just get rid of the rotation and let's scale this out. So basically what you're doing is this effect is creating a mirror. So this effect is literally just like creating a mirror so it's easy to rotate. Now you may be asking yourself, okay, well that's great, but I don't need to create a mirror. Well, yes you do. So let's go ahead and press on this clip and say, okay, well I don't need that rotation effect. I can just rotate it in Final Cut Pro 10. Well, let's go ahead and test it out and test your theory out because it doesn't work. So for example, let's say right here, watch, I'm gonna start to rotate it and because it's not mirrored, it is going to have a black background. So you can see right here, I'm rotating it, but you say, well, there's a black background. How do I fix that? You don't fix that. You need to create some sort of mirror or else the effect doesn't work. And that is how this effect um, actually does work. 
So literally right here, the download link, the plugin is going to be in the description below. It's free. It's a title plugin. All you want to do is just apply it to the entire clip or just a portion of the clip. You want to head over here and then you're keyframing the rotation at the beginning at zero. And then you're going to the end of the clip. You're keyframing again and you're typing in 360, 180, 90, negative 90, negative 180, whatever direction you want to turn into. So it's literally just keyframing the rotation of this mirrored effect. And that's how you create this really cool effect. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you want to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 80 different Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.